Today we're going to talk about sizing a junction box for conduit. Sometimes you're going to get into an area where you're going to have to put a junction box. Remember when conduit bending, uh, we, could, we may have to use a junction box uh, for, a, for a pull point. Sometimes we don't have that option. Sometimes we, we do. Here, according to the NEC, Article 314.28 states junction boxes for straight poles and angle poles. 314.28a uh, basically is telling us that this is what we have to use to size a junction box for a number four or larger. And why a number four? Well, code book states that if you have a number four uh, wire in a conduit, that it must be bushed. What does that mean? Well, you must have a bushing, a threaded bushing, a snap-on bushing, a bonding bushing. Some type of bushing needs to be on the end or the threaded end of your connector or conduit. Okay, so with that being said, we're sizing a box for number fours or larger. Do we need to know what size wire we're putting in the box? No. That's how we size the conduit. When we size the conduit, which will be in another video, that's basically the most important thing. We size the conduit, we size the junction box, and we go from there. This video here is designed to just show you, we know what the conduit size is, how do we size for the box? Because as an apprentice, as an electrician, this is something we have to do on the fly. So how do we, very simple, size a junction box, a straight pull. So 31428A, states that number four or larger. 328A1 is going to tell us that we must multiply the size of the conduit by eight. So we have to multiply it by eight. Eight is a pull. So if you remember, a straight pull is multiplied by eight. You're never going to miss it. So my suggestion is have your code book out. Go to Article 314.28A1, and right next to it, write multiply 8, or get your highlighter out and highlight it, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I have a junction box. This is, I know I have to put a box in this run. I have a 2-inch conduit because what I'm going to be doing is, I'm just going to throw this out there, that I'm going to be pulling uh, number th or 3 off conductors, copper conductors, through a conduit. I'm going to use a two-inch conduit. How we get there, keep the lookout for, the next, for that video. So what I have to do is I have to take one of the multiply it by eight. So if I multiply number, you know, two-inch by eight, this is my multiplier, it gives me 16 inches. So this junction box from here to here can be low, no less than 16 inches long. How do we figure out wide? This is what I need you to understand. Your box width has to be able to accommodate an insulated bushing and a lock nut. Which I hope, if anything, you, you subscribe to Craig Michaud, Electrical Instructor. You uh, ring the bell so you get the notifications. And then this way here, I can keep you up to date with the latest and greatest information so that you can excel in the electrical field. So if anything, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have a comment, please leave a comment down below. Any information will help. Have a great day and be safe.